Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and I just came back from the bullcrap of not having video for the last one. Let me see if I battled him. Yes, I have. Actually, it would be a beauty. I remember that one. Okay, well. What are we doing, you might ask? Well, that's a very simple question. Let me see if I battle this person. Yes. Very, 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 very simple question to answer. That will be going back to get freaking repels because I am not. Not. Oh, yeah. Um. I absolutely am not. Uh. Battling Pokemon all throughout that crap. That cave. That's what happened. Then having repels. Nah. I'm having repels. I'm having Pokeballs. And no one can do anything about it. I am not facing anybody while I'm going back to where I just was. Come on, you know? Actually, yes. What, like about seven? Sure, why not? Potion? Sure, why not? Do you have anything other than regular repel? No, you do not. I do want one paralyzed heal. Yes, you can. B. Let's see what I can get rid of. Ah, yes. I've always thrown these away. Don't like the X stuff. Calcium's always good. Antidote. Helix. Potion. And so I've sold one thing off. What I'll do next is. Repel. Not. Ah, oh, almost. There we go. I'm just kidding. I am buying 20 though. Thank you. One second, guys. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Options, tools. Okay. Come on, controls. Where's the controls? Man, it's hurting. It's because the controls. One second. Eh, I'll deal with it till the next episode. Alright, so we have gotten that. But anyways, um, let me think what I was going to say. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, holy oh, yeah, I, get I, I didn't even bring a drink. I'm not even sleepy and I'm yawning. This is the most irritating thing is I cannot control it. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways. Why'd I do that? Go here. Do, 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 do. If you remember what I said from before, three things you can do is one, go subscribe to my channel. Two, you can go to Humble Bundle via the link in the description in the description below and get a game which will also support charity. Or you can go to Patreon and become a patron for my channel so that no matter what the financial situation is for me I can always buy games or equipment or whatnot for retro games HQ I'm gonna keep bringing you retro game stuff and monster taming stuff so I would greatly appreciate any help when it comes to that all right let's see do I have anything here no okay but what I was trying to think of earlier was like what games you know, uh, maybe you really like Pokemon Red, and that's the reason why you're liking this. Well, let me tell you a few monster taming games, so maybe you can go and look at them. So the first one I would recommend for anyone that likes Pokemon Red in particular, like Pokemon Red, Pokemon Yellow, uh, you know, Blue, and then green, uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal, um, I would recommend going on Steam and getting Disc Creatures. It absolutely is a... Even though it was only made, I think, 2016 or something, it feels like a trip. As in a nostalgic trip. 
that kind of thing. It really does. I forgot to put the repel on, but this dude reminded me. Thank you. Um, hold on. Let me see what's the first thing. I want to see if I can beat it with this real fast. Do I have a razor leaf? Let me see what I can do. Because it's rock. Ah, crit, yes. Alright, hold on before I keep talking. Let me do this. I needed to put all this in a PC, probably. Yes. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, disc creatures made by a uh, Japanese guy. It's in English, and it is freaking awesome. Uh, like I said, it absolutely feels like a retro game you know if you love this then there's a very high chance uh you'll like disc creatures disc creatures uh, it's um it's got a different battle system so there's reggie ice doesn't matter can't catch it too low of a chance to get it whatever but i will be Let me try. I want to see. Now much damage I can do it. Just crits that much. Okay. So I don't need to be hurting too many people. <clears throat> I need to keep my party good. So instead of a tamer, you're kind of a disc ranger. Would they? But they shorten it to disc -er. And the monsters, the creatures, the disc creatures, are kind of sentient. But you go around battling until you get enough data. And you get to pretty much rip it, you know, onto a, onto a disc. Well, you rip it onto a disc. And you can then use that to pretty much have that um creature it's like i said it's battle mechanics are different it uses what's called energy just as e on it and it's a 3v3 battle setup i don't know i struggled with that but it's a 3v3 battle setup okay let me get this but it 100 feels like a retro game i mean my god it feels a red like a retro game in every freaking way it's really good i am gonna have a series out on it here soon or maybe the first episode's already went out i wish i would stop yawning i don't even understand that let's see hey there we go crit super effective yeah that's what i thought Yes. Okay. <clears throat> oh, man, I really do need a drink. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Anyways. Um. Hmm. After that, if you like the GBA, Game Boy Advance, uh, Pokemon games, then go play the demo for Koromon C-O-R-O-M-O-N I already have episodes on that out so if you want to go check that out uh, now to clean up or clear up any misconceptions don't think these are monster taming games uh, these are not just what you might call Pokemon clones that's what many people call them they are not Pokemon clones uh, they are not ROMs they are full fledged games they are not Pokemon copycats so and for you watching this, I would recommend Disc Creatures, which you can actually get um, through Humble Bundle, if you want to help me. You just go uh, through my link below and search Disc Creatures. I'd greatly appreciate that if you're going to get it. Um, I wish Carnival would saw this, but I would greatly appreciate that if you would go if you're going to get it to get it through my link, so I can get a little bit. And plus, you can help charity some. Uh, oh, come on, get me out of this thing. Okay, there we go. Okay, that was easy. Oh, wait a second. Ah. Koromon 
Go watch some of my play, uh, some of my series. I think I'm getting close to the end on that. Ooh, dun dun dun. Eek, don't try to. Just... Anyways, this is Brock. Remember, Brock is the beauty sprite. Okay. Just moving my chair. All right. Let's see. Cor this creature's Coromon. You might like Nexomon Extinction. That's good. It's actually out on the Switch as well. Um, you can get on Steam. So, this creature's Coromon. Nexomon. Of course, there's other monster tamers, but I'm trying to think for the people that's watching this specifically. Monster Crown. While it's not fully out, it is... They've got content pack update number three out. Adds a whole new peninsula and stuff. I'd go check that out. It's actually really good. Let's see, he had that, so. Eh, I'll put a do what? Uh. Shut stop yawning. I'm not tired. Hmm. I'm trying to think for this. The people watching this. Um, there I go. I can't think of any others, so pretty much this creatures, Coromon, Nexomon, Monster Crown. Now, many of these have different battle mechanics in Pokemon. That's all there is to it. They're not Pokemon clones. Let me move this. Okay, about to use Trivo Bond. Nah, I'll just keep doing it. Whatever. I'll brute force this. Okay. But I'll list off a few others that are just monster taming games that I know of. Actually, I'm going to try to list pretty much every one that I know of. Once I defeat this big idiot. Let's see if that works. So you have Anatons, Nexomon, and Nexomon Extinction. Oh, it does not affect him because he's Ghost Plant. I did not mean... Okay, I gotta press B. One second, guys. I just gotta switch in front of it. I didn't want to give him the experience, but I wanted to give him the experience. Okay. So, Anatons, Nexomon, Nexomon Extinction, Monster Crown, Tam Tam, which was, I think, one of the better well-known ones. Kindred Fates, which is gonna come out. You can keep an eye on it. Uh, I think you can still back it. I'm not sure. I don't think so, but I forgot. I think you can buy it on their site. Uh, but I had to go check it out. Either way, Kindred Fates is awesome. Uh, you pretty much will control the creatures to battle, and it's it's definitely different. Go check it out. It had, extreme, it had an extremely successful Kickstarter. Moncraft, which is in its working name. Mython Island, which is supposed to come out, I think, this December. It looks freaking amazing. Disc Monsters, or Disc Creatures. I don't know if I said Disc Monsters, but Disc Creatures. Uh, Monster Sanctuary, Costume Kingdom. Very few monsters in it, but you wear a costume. You get a special power. Uh... If I'm right, they're planning on making another one. Just like Disc Creatures is going to get a sequel here soon, which has a GBA feeling to it. Alright. 2000, whatever. Okay. Um, Necromancer's GIF. Gift, not GIF. <laughs> Gift. Uh, it's got a pixel art look, and it has amazing animation, amazing sprites. No matter what he releases, uh, when it comes to sprites, it looks freaking awesome. It's a very cool concept it was inspired by nuzlocks so that's what you should know about it uh let's see masson in a bottle go check that out it has some really good animation and stuff as well uh ova magica which you can go play the first demo for if you just look up ova ova magica that's with a c so m-a-g-i-c-a and i think they're gonna put out another demo here soon all right, let me switch out because this ain't working out. Yeah, even though I hit that, that ain't working out. I'm not doing that. Just put out this idiot. Abomination, which is kind of uh, inspired. I played a. I actually played in Brutal all the way through. I have a whole. I've played it through completely. The demo. You can get the demo for free. Uh, so what I would go do is go get the demo for free. Or maybe, uh, if you're not convinced, because I thought it was going to be okay. 
but I ended up really liking it. You know, the look of it is kind of, I don't know why, but when you see it, you're like, eh, but when you play it, you're like, my god, this is actually a really freaking good game. Of course, it's just a demo, but it's a really good demo. Get enough play time, it's satisfactory, so I don't know, you play for 20 minutes, it's over. Uh, and it's procedurally generated, so everyone's going to have a different experience, and each time you play, you're going to have a different experience. And if, when you get one of your monsters defeated, one of your Bomi defeated, guess what? They die. So you have to be careful, and on Brutal, it's even more important. In fact, I had two runs through it. My second one, I was... My third one... <laughs> I'd say the third, but my second one actually lasted about five minutes before I died. Uh, yeah. So then, Mithrin patch quest which you can go to their just look up patch quest discord and you can get their okay whatever totada who cares i'm gonna blast through him he needs experience anyways um you can get their demo play their beta on their just on their discord so go on their discord you can play for free it is i've had a few streams on it you can go look it's very interesting uh very laid back different kind of monster tamer you have Cassette Beast, which is supposed to come out, I think, soon, maybe December or something. I forgot. Runimals Adore, which looks interesting, and Snap Beast, which is actually made by the creators, uh, the creator of Pixelmon Generation, which is a Minecraft mod. So, uh, also you have, uh, oh, there's others. Let me, let me look real fast. I know there's others. Okay, you have Ploxmon, which is going to be a Monster Tamer kind of card game. You have Final Stardust, which is coming into production. You have Buddymon, which uh, has a diamond, purposely has a diamond and pearl platinum feeling to it, but there's more to it. It is not a Pokemon ripoff at all. You have Laxidays, which is supposed to be like, uh, has inspiration from Persona, Pokemon, something else. And Final Fantasy 7, so far it looks really good. You have uh, Drogimon, which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, Minimon, which actually they're getting a remake. Uh, so they're in the middle of remaking that. A Goddess Lost in Trance, which is an extremely interesting way to do monster taming. Um, very vibrant, vibrant, wow, vibrant. 2D yet a not a 2d platformer ish kind of thing very interesting very bright colors i like it um chain monsters which i actually did an interview and i've done some gameplay in their like play box demo but i actually did an interview with a developer of uh, max from chain monsters and they had a super successful kickstarter i haven't checked today but they might already be at a thousand percent uh funded on kickstarter it's freaking gonna be awesome works off of black blockchain which is where chain comes from you also have monster uh sanctuary oh uh, i think they have a demo now, or you can buy it i forgot i think it's early access at this point you have data fighters which is in production uh you have beast masters which is in production as well uh Bratori, which is in production which is actually legends of Bratori, and it's a specific like series but if you look up legends of Bratori, you're gonna see the subreddit for it and uh, you're gonna know what i'm talking about uh that's all i can have a list of or and or can think of right now that's a lot yes it is a lot because monster taming is coming into full stride or really i hope it's not coming into full stride you know what i hope we're in the early like stages of it I really do, because Pokemon has failed spectacularly. People even, I feel like Sun and Moon's where a lot of people start getting discontented. Of course before, but Sun and Moon's, eh, okay. I like the Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun, but it uh, didn't sell that well. Um, as well as it should have. Anyways, the monster taming community, monster taming audience, like for indie games and stuff, non-Pokemon is increasing. That's all there is to it. And it's freaking awesome. And I am going to be doing something pretty big. Not this year, but next year. And I will update you all, like I said in the last video, I will update you all when I uh, get more updates on it. When I get deeper into the... I'm not going to say development because it's not a game. 
but it is something pretty big. I think you all will be interested in it. In fact, I, I know you all will be interested in it because you're watching this video on my channel. I know you'll be interested on it, in it. So anyways, that's all for this video. If you can, go subscribe, or if you want to, rather, go subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And give this thumbs a, uh, this thumbs a like up. Yes, exactly. Th put, go, <laughs> go give this video a, a thumbs up. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. I'll be doing another uh, episode literally right now. So, see you in the next video. Retro on.